Hi everybody, in today's video I will be demonstrating the use of prefabs. A quick briefing as to what prefabs are. They are a very effective way to group two or more objects together. The main purpose of prefabs is that it saves a lot of time when using the same bundle of objects again. So in my case I'm trying to create this club and they require tables and chairs. Prefabs will mean these five individual objects will be treated as one. Um, this will save me a lot of time uh, individually inserting four chairs and one table. So to get started we would need to group the four chairs and table together. To do this use the control key and select the objects that you'd like to turn into one object. You could do this or you can just highlight all of them. Okay. Once they are selected, go on to prefabs and then make from selection. Select this. You're going to be displayed with this window. Name indicates your prefab's name. So let's call our prefab chairs and table. It has to be sensible so you know exactly which prefab it is. Um, you could also give it a group name if um, that's if you decide to have various prefabs it makes finding the particular prefab easier as the folders are more organized I shall do this club press OK now underneath the folder club there's our prefab chairs and table let's close this window you could see instantly the five objects are now one the pink box indicates this is one object like so okay now I would like to add more table and chairs to do this in objects prefabs prefabs inside level folder club folder here's our chairs and table just simply drag this into your game and there you go we have more table and chairs it's exactly the same saves loads of time. Uh, I've already done some before previously just show you what I've done so far yep. it's going a bit dark I know okay and that's it that's my game and that's all for prefabs thank you for watching my video